Rob Brown from Guitar Lessons 365.com. Got a fun one for you today. We're going to learn how to play Give a Little Bit by Supertramp. So as you probably know, if you know this song, Roger Hudson, when he's playing this, he's using a 12 string guitar. Um, this is not a 12 string, but it still sounds great on a six string. It's played the same way. Uh, but if you have a 12 string, you're going to make it sound um, just like the, the album. And it's really more apparent when we're doing some of the, the stuff of the later song. Uh, some of those notes you're hearing notes an octave higher than that at times. We're going to be playing it like he does, but once again, uh, without the 12 string with the, the um, extra doubled octave string there on the treble strings, you're, you're not going to get the exact unique sound of it. So grab a 12 string if you can. If not, uh, grab a trusty old six string, uh, still string acoustic, and let's get going on it. So we're in standard tuning, so nothing crazy there. Um, and we're going to start here with this intro, which is pretty much the chorus of the song anyway. So it's what I just played. All right, so this is based around three chords. Uh, an A dominant seven chord, a D major chord, and a G major chord. So that A seven chord starts the song. It's just like an A major chord, except now you're just gonna have the G string open. So open A, second fret on the D, open G, second fret on the B, and then open high E string. All right, before we get to the, the, you know, the order of everything, let's just go through these three chords that we're gonna be using for this whole section. Then a D major chord. Uh, just D major open D, second fret on the G, third on the B, second on the high E. So hopefully you know your open chords. If not, you can learn those at guitarlessons365.com. Just check out the uh, beginner section. All right, and then we have one more chord in this section, which is a G major. Now this is the G major version that has the open B string. Um, so it's not that version. So best way to play it is it's going to be third finger there on the third fret of low E, uh, second fret on the A, and the open high E there with your pinky, the third fret. All the other strings open. So those are, that's how he plays it at least. So that's the three chord shapes we're gonna be playing. Now start, he starts with that A7 chord. Just gonna up down on it. And then we go to the D, kind of same thing. Kind of the same thing. So between the A7 and the D a couple times. And then we switch it to the G chord. That's the little up down. And then we take it to that A7 and that's when he starts the consistent strumming. Now the strumming patterns, strumming patterns, or whatever you want to call it, all it is is an eighth note feel. So one, two, three, four. You're gonna be letting your hand go down on the down beats, up on the up beats, like one and two and three and four and, and they'll be doing some 16, so. So it's gonna be, you can consider it eighth or 16th note feel, however you wanna kind of count it. Um, but I like to get you just moving your arm instead of trying to count consistent rhythm patterns, which he's not really doing consistent rhythm patterns. So kind of accent notes here or there, but you really just kind of want to feel it. So when we get to that rhythm, he, he just paused at the beginning. For these first A7 to D twice. Then we have the G, and then we kind of get to the A7 And back to that G and then back to the A7. And then back to the G and then we get to the D. Now let's kind of start from here. When the vocals kick in, you can really kind of see the pattern, the, the, the order of the chords. So it looks like this. So 
starting with the D chord to that A7, then straight back to the D. And then the second time you're leaving the D, you go to that G chord. And then it's going to revolve around just the A7 and the G. So, one more time, D, A7, D, G, A7, now it's going to rotate between notes, G, A7, G, back to the D, and then it just starts over. So after you plan that a couple of times through that progression, um, we get to what I, I kind of call the pre-chorus, and he plays this differently, uh, he fingers it differently at least than I. He's usually playing the same notes uh, on the guitar, except he uses his thumb over the top pretty heavy here. So he does that throughout the song a couple of times. So when I'm playing this B minor chord, it sounds like, let me just play this part for you real quick. We come out of this. So I consider that like a pre-chorus, and it just takes us back to the, this chorus riff again that we did earlier. So that starts with a B minor chord, and he has the F sharp in the bass. So how the normal way of playing that is going to be this. Full bar at the second fret, and then third fret there on the B string, fourth on the G, and fourth on the D. So I'm adding that note on the low E string there, that F sharp. So that's a B minor in uh, second version. So we got the F sharp there in the bass. Now how he plays it, and you'll see him play it. He has his fingers like this, and he has his thumb barring those two lower strings. Very uncomfortable for me to do. So I'm just gonna play it like normal. But if you see that, that's what he's doing. But he's playing these same notes. And then we go to this, an E sus four chord. So all it is is an E major chord, standard E major chord, and you're gonna add now the pinky at the second fret there on the G string to make it an E sus four. And then you're gonna release that pinky down to regular E major. So we have this. And then we're gonna make our way to a G chord, but really quickly he's gonna just hit the second fret there on the low E string, just with your middle finger. And then um, we're going to go move into that G major chord. So all together. All right, so the first pre-chorus ends like this. After you strum the G... We go, to, this is a really, I like playing these really nice chord shapes. Open A string, fourth fret on the D, open G, third fret on the B, and the open high E string. And then you're gonna move it down to the second. Now, all the notes now that you're gonna actually play are, are gonna be on the D and the B string there. So it's four on the D, three on the B, then play two on the D, two on the B, still with the open A, open G, and open high E with it. So we this. And then back up to the one we did before. And then go up to five on the D, five on the B. And then you're going to end this first one at least. He goes back to the ones at the second fret, so move that back three frets. So we have this. We're back to the, the same riff as before. So same riff, and then the same pre-chorus. 
chorus, just with a slightly different ending. So this ending here is the exact same, except when you get to these fives, you don't move them down to two at the very end, you just hold them. So that's the second end. When you hear, let's play that part the second time, the pre-chorus. All right, then it takes us to a, a different kind of rhythmic style. Um, we're to the bridge section. This is where the saxophone solo is over. So that part sounds like this. takes us back to the chorus again. So this bridge section, once again, he plays the low notes uh, for both of these chords with his thumb, but I'm just gonna do them like a normal bar chord. So it's just an F sharp minor bar chord. So full bar at the second fret, fourth fret on the A and the D. Now when we go here, the rhythm's kinda like that. You're gonna hit it once and then release the pressure. Don't jump off the strings or anything. Just release the pressure in the hand and then do a kind of a down up on those muted strings that you're muting with the left hand. So we have this. And then apply it again. So it's kind of that, kind of a funky feel. And then just keep that bar and then move over to that same B minor with the F sharp in the bass that we did earlier. And when it goes to that, it's more of a common strum pattern like we were doing earlier in the song and you're just kind of holding it so you're not going to mute out the chord when we get to the B minor. So it goes F sharp minor, kind of a funky feel to a B minor. Again. And then back to that F sharp minor. But instead of this time going to the B minor, we go to that G chord. And then from that G, we're gonna go to a C major. Now what I want you to do is leave your pinky on the top and just move the C major to a C major chord here with the rest of the fingers. And then back down to that G. So, so far we had this. get back to these intervals on the D and the B string with the open A, open G, and open high E string. And this is pretty easy. We're going straight up. So we're starting with the second fret there on the D, second fret on the B. Remember, open A, open G. You're going to mute, keep this muting with your thumb, that low E string. And um, so you have those, and then you move up to the four on the D, three on the B. Then the five on the B, um, D and the five on the uh, B there. And then all the way up to seven, move that up to first. So we have this. So you do it three times. Now see how I'm kind of sliding into each one? again. All right, now um, when we get through to this third pre-chorus, that when we go to Now, this has the same ending as that bridge section. So when we get to that G, remember we did that C, So it's 
basically the first half is the pre-chorus and then the second half is the bridge the same ending that we had in the bridge instead of remember before when the bridge we went from that g straight so we're doing different now we're just gonna go that g to a c it's a little extended and then we have that So coming out of that, we have this little riff that happens at the 2 minute and 54 second mark uh, that is played four times. Um, so it involves some kind of uh, some chord inversions and stuff like that, but it sounds like this. times so that's a d starts with that D chord and then we're gonna move it up to a G chord so that's just this chord moved up five frets to the seventh fret and then we're gonna move it down to this A major chord so that's at the barring across the B string at the fifth fret on the, on the B and the high E we're playing this sixth fret on the G so I have the D string ring by the way and then move this down two frets to the G major and back down to that D see that rhythm there down up down and then an up stroke on that last one part we have an open D open G and then the first fret there on the on the uh, B string strum that for a few beats and then you're gonna add the third fret on the high E in with that chord so we have this and then release the first fret there on the B string so that note resolves down and back to a D. So this part. So you do that part four times. And then we get to, which is really just the ending of the song here. So this section starts at the three minute and I think it says 30 or 36 seconds. Um, and that whole section sounds like this. start here a little familiar riff there we did earlier so it's gonna start with this C major add nine chord so how is that played uh, it's just a regular C major chord but instead of your first finger there being at the uh, first fret on the B you can lift that up we're gonna play the pinky is gonna play the third fret on the B string it's a nice sounding chord so we have and then what we're gonna move from there so we're going to open G, open high EC. We're going to lift up the third finger, take your middle finger and move it to the second fret there on the A. Alright. Okay, so it's kind of an inverted G major 6 chord. So you still have the open high E there. So this. to take it down to an A minor 7 by an open A string, second fret on the D, open G, first fret on the B, and high E string open. Then down to the G, and then that A7, which leads us to that D riff. So let's go, I'll go through those chords again, that C9, C, uh, yeah, C at 9. It looks like four beats on it, and then 
four beats on the next chord, and then it's quicker changes. A minor seven, D, A seven. That same riff we did earlier. So hit that last chord twice, or three times, whatever, and then jump up one octave. So you're gonna move this up from the second fret, same chord shape, up to the 14th fret. I play the open D with it, but it's 14 on the G, 15 on the B, 14 on the high E string. And that is all she wrote. So it's a great, it's a classic. Uh, he's such a great songwriter. He's got some of the other cool songs. Um, I might think about doing some guitar versions of as well too, if you guys want to see it. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.